Hello everybody on YouTube, Sonic Waffles here, and as you can see, I have nothing at all. So uh, you're probably wondering what happened. Well, I died in the nether, so it's not despawning right now, but... Oh, some slime balls. But, I did kill a lot of chickens and grinded out a little bit of XP while you were... Well, while I was gone, or while I was dead. And today, I just kind of wanted to test this thing out. It's not that hard, but I've got some speed potions. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand right here, get speeded up, grab my bread, grab some building blocks, grab some arrows, and grab some wood. And then we're, what I can do now is just put on my armor while all my stuff is flowing to me, which it has already. And now I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's go get that stuff back. Oh, I'm going to experience some lag because I've got a bundle of chickens giving me eggs out there. So whenever I leave chunks that contain a lot of entities, for some reason it just lags a ton. It's pretty stupid. So, uh, there's my nether wart. Let's hope that I can get over there in time. Actually, I'm probably just going to cut this out. Just because you guys know what a what another journey looks like, but I just wanted to show you the emergency death dispenser, just because it was cool, and it was cool. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, I've done a little bit of work on the retainment wall. It's it's getting there. It's getting pretty big now. That's what she said. I've fallen in the lava quite a few times, but luckily. My armor and fire resistance potions have saved me. Uh, since I've been working here, I've decided... Oh wait, did... Yeah, my stuff did. Oh, they're still angry at me. Oh boy, oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. They are still mad at me. Okay. That was... A surprise. Uh, right here I've been trying to put some gravel down in there, but uh, that's not really what's important. Get out of here. Oh, there. There are. Are they like swimming up or something? Or oh, they must be in the lava swimming somewhere. Oh, nope. There they are. Anyways, here's my stuff. Uh-huh. And I was trying to kill them. I was trying to kill the... What is, it, what is it called? The pigman. Anyways, I've been farming nether wart since, uh, since I've been working here. And just sitting here AFK in the way and getting tons of nether wart. Anyways, let's climb up here and I'm going to show you what design I'm going to use. Now, this is not going to be an XP farm just because it's not going to be a whole lot of pigmen. Uh, plus, they don't give a lot. Probably going to make an Enderman farm. Probably directly from Ethos. It's a very good idea, but uh, using this method, I think it's going to work. Basically, you've got repeater, redstone on the back, powering uh, powering the piston. So, whenever... Uh, I've got full... That's basically going to happen, except it's not going to push you onto this. Here, let me use a better example. Let me use... I don't think this one's going to actually work. Uh, do I have any... Let me whip up a pressure plate real quick. Throw down it. And fall to near death. So that's how things are going to work. And I did not expect to get that low of health, but here are my current supplies, everything I've brought down here. Uh, and I guess my nether wart is somewhere around here. Yeah, I have some water bottles just in case I need to go make some more potions. Brought those. Golden helmet. Alright, well, I think that's all I wanted to show you here. Uh, just my progress, and I'm actually going to be taking away a lot of netherrack soon, so better get ready on those iron picks. Probably going to enchant them with a level 1 enchantment so they last a little bit longer. Because that's... Oh boy. Where are you? There you are. 
Mm. Couldn't get you. Couldn't get you. Hey. That's what I thought. Is this guy going to get mad at me? Nope. Alright, well, I think I'm going to cut out the journey back. And, oh, before I do that, before I cut out the journey back, I'm going to tell you guys that uh, this is... When I'm recording this, I'm feeling pretty happy. Uh, I keep on looking behind me, I thought someone was there. Uh, I'm feeling pretty happy, just like my last video said you should do. You know, it's uh, you should make videos when you're you're feeling good. Because it reflects in the video whether or not you're feeling good. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Yep, sorry, the uh, video might have cut out there a little bit. I had to uh, stop to do something. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, so I decided to record some. And I guess I'm going to cut out the journey back, because that's just boring. And we are back. And I'm actually going to show you what I've been doing here. Because it's going to be pretty interesting. Not really. Um, I'm trying to make a level wheat farm. Uh, this is going to be replaced with dirt, obviously. But um, what I'm going to be doing off camera right now is the water which I don't have any buckets on me, which is silly. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out a lighting. I'm probably going to put pumpkins in here, or jack-o'-lanterns, that is. Make the walls up jack-o'-lanterns. Maybe there's like a pathway in the middle. Maybe. Anyways. What this is going to be is a wheat farm, and it's going to be tiered. This is just an efficiency 2 pick, by the way. Not my good pick. Um, and it's going to be back. I think I'm going to make... Let's see. We're going to have a little bit here. One, two, probably, probably three, three full tiers, and that's going to flow down into this point. And then what you can do is you can go through this little door right here and go replant all your stuff. So I'm going to stop recording, and I'll meet you back once I'm done with the design. <laughs> 